Hey drummers, Gary Williams here, your drum set mastermind and creator of the Drum Set Artistry Mastermind Group. I hope you're all having a good day today. In this video, I want to discuss the subject of perfectionism. Growing up, for me, everything had to be perfect. If it wasn't perfect, it was just simply not good enough. I can remember an event where in college, I was so uptight about everything having to be so perfect that if I made one mistake in the concert, in my mind, the concert was ruined. It absolutely had to be flawless. Needless to say, that wasn't a very good feeling to have because I was always on the verge of failure and I was always experiencing a sense of fear about failure. Some years later, as I did some more healing work, I was listening to an audiobook by a woman named Julia Cameron and she's written a book called The Artist's Way. And it's written for writers, mostly, but for people that want to express their inspirations, their art, their creativity. And she made a statement that felt like somebody punched me in the stomach. She said, perfectionism is egotism. And I was like, oh God, she's so right. Yeah, my ego was huge. Now, that doesn't mean because I have a big ego that I'm just a big negative egomaniac and, you know, I'm better than everybody. It was more of a personal problem I had where I was always comparing myself to other players and if somebody else got called for a gig and I didn't, it would be very disturbing to me because I'd want to be like the favorite drummer in the first call. When I started to realize that trying to be perfect was kind of an impossibility and certainly a very painful endeavor, I began to shift my thinking to trying to just do my best. In fact, there was one time I was so nervous about playing and I was trying to find a way to get myself to calm down. And I'm a deeply spiritual person, so what happened to me at this one point is I said, I'm just going to play for God. Now that may sound religious, but I'm not a religious person, I'm a spiritual person. I believe in a higher power and that we're all part of the same source. And what happened in that very moment when I said I'm just going to play for God is it just released all the egotism where I had to prove something to everybody. Instead, I was just going to play in service to the music. Another experience happened once when I was working on a bunch of Terry Bozio multi-pedal ostinatos and soloing and doing all this crazy stuff over the top of my feet. And I wanted to incorporate this into a solo that I had with my band, Ecstasy and Numbers. I have a very large drum feature that I do with them that's about 10 minutes long. It has quite a few movements. And when we got to the gig, I came up to this point where I wanted to do this and it, it didn't happen. I didn't really have it down as good as I thought. And of course, in the nervousness of the performance, it didn't come off very well. I made a decision at that point that was really profound to me that's impacted me ever since then. I thought, you know, the next time I play, I'm only going to play what the music inspires me to play. I'm not going to come to the gig with this agenda to prove anything. I'm not going to be waiting for space to fill. I'm actually going to allow there to be space in the music. And I'm just going to let what the other musicians do inspire me to be of service to the music. So if you find yourself into this headspace where things have to be perfect, then you're thinking from a mental standpoint. There is a higher way of looking at this. It goes back to when you first started playing the drums and you were very excited to just sit behind the drum kit and experience the awesomeness of drumming. There wasn't a lot of ego attached. It was more like a child with a toy and it was just all pleasure. So when we can get back to the roots of why we did this to begin with, which is because this is something that's just awesome. There's nothing quite like it and let go of this idea that we have to become something other than just doing it for the personal pleasure and growth and satisfaction of learning how to become a better drummer and a better musician. So if you're struggling with this kind of perfectionism stuff and it's really blocking you from wanting to go forward, you might be, be even dealing with performance anxiety issues because of this perfectionism. It's hard to be around other musicians because if they give you a weird look, then all of a sudden those perfectionism things are like, oh God, and I've screwed up again, what's wrong with me? So you're really identifying with more of the ego self and not the self self that's behind it. In other words, you were here before this life and you're gonna be here after this life, so there's something larger to who you are than just this physical body. So if we can tune into that more spiritual realm, we can lose the ego 
perfectionism idea and just play music and make it a great experience and do our best. So if you want to get back into the saddle and you have some anxiety around perfectionism, private message me. I have some results for you and some recommendations on things that you can do that can soften this sort of aggressive nature you have and the battle that you're having with yourself because if you're a perfectionist then you're not liking who you are because you're never perfect enough. So let's get back to having some fun and playing the drums. All right, take care and have a great day.